Back now on Most Buffalo, we have been tracking the latest COVID data and in Erie County, the rate of transmission of the coronavirus is inching toward a threshold that would trigger a return to full in-person learning in many high schools and middle schools. Channel 2's Jeff Preval has been tracking the data and has the latest. And not to get too technical, but what schools are really paying attention to, Erie County's rate of transmission of the virus on a per capita basis. A key CDC metric says 100 or more new COVID cases per 100,000 people means the rate of transmission is high. Below 100 new cases is substantial. And as of Tuesday, Erie County, according to the County Health Department, is at 108 new cases. CDC guidance says Erie County is close to bringing back middle and high school students with at least three feet of physical distancing. I think the public might think that 100 is a magical number um, uh, that's based in science. Um, it's not. It's in the guidance and we have to follow it. And we're eagerly awaiting the, um, you know, the numbers from the Erie County Department of Health that show that we're down below 100 cases per 100,000. Now, Hamburg Schools has plans on bringing back middle and high school students to full in person a week from today. And a number of districts across the county have similar plans from Grand Island to Alden to Cleveland Hill with their high school students. Meantime, in Buffalo schools, a spokesperson for the district tells me that the district does not have plans on bringing back middle and high school students to full in-person learning, instead working on trying to vaccinate as many students as possible, working with the state and the mayor's office. In Buffalo, I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.